So what must happen? If you are destitute of his mercy, what must you do? This, this is a very important question. Prophet, so what must I do? I just want to give an answer. All right, Job chapter 5. Verse 8 to 16. If I were you, I would go to God and present my case to him. Uh huh. He does great things too marvelous to understand. He performs countless miracles. If I were you, he gives rain for what? For the earth. And water for the fields. Mm hmm. He gives prosperity to the poor and protects those who suffer. He frustrates the plans of the schemers so the work of their hands will not succeed. Mm -hmm. He traps the wise in their own cleverness so their cunning schemes are thwarted. They found it dark in the daytime and they grow at noon as if it were night. He rescues the poor from the cutting words of the strong and rescues them from the crutches of the powerful. And so at last, the poor have hope and the napping jaws of the wicked are right. shut. Now let's go back to the same verse we started. All right. Now I want you to give me a message. Now let me read it for you. Okay, properly, so you can hear properly. If I were in your shoes, if I were in your shoes that I, have, I am destitute of his mercy, I would go straight to God and throw myself on the mercy of God. If I were you, if I were in your shoes, <laughs> you didn't hear that. <laughs> If I were in your shoes where I have money, I borrow here, I borrow there, I try problems after problems, I would go and throw myself. Hear that scripture. It says what? I would go straight to God. I would throw myself on the mercy of God. Uh -huh. After all, he is famous for great and unexpected acts. There's no end to his surprises. So if, hey, I, Papa, so what must I do? I'm destitute. I have no mercy. Simple. Throw yourself in the mess of God. There is no end to his surprises. He does unexpected acts. He's the famous of doing great things. Throw yourself in the mess of God. Now, it doesn't end there. Let's continue reading. It says what? He gives rain, for instance, across the wide earth, sends water to irrigate the fields. God. He raises up the down and out. People who are completely down, he raises them up. So why are you like this? Throw yourself in the mess of God. After all, he's famous. He raises up people who are nobodies. He raises them up. Somebody raise up a hand again and say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father I throw myself in your mercy. I throw myself in your mercy. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. I need your mercy. I need your mercy. In the name of Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. Now, I want you to say something. We are continuing. Papa, there are people who are planning against me. They, hey, there are crooks. There are people they want to, to destroy. Wait, 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 wait. If you throw yourself in the mercy, the Bible says what? Let's read. Let's read the next verse. Let's read. He raises up the down and out, gives female footing to those sinking in grief. I have got so much grief. No, don't worry. Throw yourself in the mercy. The grief will disappear. 
Let's read, let's read, let's read, let's read. He aborts the schemes of conniving crooks. Right now, people are conniving. Like, what, what should we do to bring him down? The Bible says he aborts their schemes. He says, throw yourself in the mercy of God. Their schemes are aborted. Conniving. How to bring down the major one. Tell your neighbor, throw yourself in the mercy. He will abort the schemes of those conniving against you. Throw yourself in the mess of God. He raises those who are down. Are you, are you understanding what the Bible says? It says he does unexpected acts. His surprises have no end. He will shock you as you are now struggling, trying to touch here, trying to touch there. He will sub. Oh my goodness. Receive in the name of Jesus. He will surprise you. When you are in the maze of God, his surprises have no end. As before, you had the mercy. It was about problem here. Tomorrow, another problem. Tomorrow, another problem. When you are in the mercy, today, a surprise. Tomorrow, another surprise. Another day, another day, his surprises have no end. Receive in the name of Jesus. Harakush Ebrahataka. I prophesy to you. The mess is coming in your house. The mess will begin to work in your life. Receive in the name of Jesus. Just see, see, see the next. He says what? He catches the no it owes in their conspiracies. Did you hear that? The no it owes. As they are conspiring, the boss he catches them. If you have mercy, if you have mercy, it doesn't matter who is plotting against you. And tonight we are praying that God help me. I need your mercy. I don't want to become a destitute. I don't want to be uh, suffering like this. I don't want to be. All over. Like, you try this, you try this. No, this must end now. You must not be the second soul of our time. You must never be a second soul of our generation. I know you're praying. I know you are faithful to God. But you need one thing, the mercy. God's system of advantage. As raise your hands, Heavenly Father. After me, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, I need your mercy. I need, I need your, your mercy. mercy. For your mercy, for your mercy, is in you every morning. Is new every morning. I need your mercy. I need your mercy. For your mercy, for your mercy, endure us forever. Endure us forever. Give me your mercy. Show me your mercy. Begin to make a prayer. Request with your heart. Be serious about it. Make a prayer. Open your spirit. Open your mind, your heart, your body. In prayer, give everything around you. Throw yourself. Kareke Paramosa.